Hey folks, Uncle Jake. I'm Kev. That makes this the free fly. We are sitting at the Vintage in Madison Corner of University at Francis, and it's about half an hour before the start of our fundraiser for the 173rd Airborne, second of the 503's homecoming. Now they're in Afghanistan, and they have had, as most of you are well aware, uh, a very difficult tour, uh, come through brilliantly, lots of uh, heroic acts, 16 silver stars 16. for one battalion, 950 firefights. <laughs> I, I can't even do the math, it's too much. That's too many for us to count. So we're raising money and uh, along with uh, Tanker Babe and a lot of the folks have been working with us very hard and the Gold Star families, raising money for a fundraiser to get a homecoming party for them, welcome them back to Vicenza after their tour in Afghanistan. Show them the 173rd shirt, dude. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right, back to free flying. Uh, oh wait, what do you got? Buddy? Well, first, first I want to talk about uh, talk a little bit about what I what the, the folks in the Madison area, the, the the liberal liberal front here behind enemy lines, really come through. Seriously, um, I got gift certificates from uh, a bunch of different bars in the area, Wando's. Vintage, Lava Lounge, Stadium. Uh, I got five tattoos from different tattoo artists in town. But, <laughs> get, to, get to the PA that are using stones. I'm not gonna lie to you folks, they've <laughs> never done this before. I got a lifetime membership to give away to Visions. It's a burlesque house in town. Which is what we call strip clubs in Madison. <laughs> naked, totally naked women doing crazy stuff on poles. Lifetime free admission and your first drink's free. Every time you go in, I can pull anything off. Kev's amazing. That's I, I got to go out. That's it's. It was fun to see how everybody responded and and how they actually thought that this was a great idea and wanted to help the troops out. It is a great idea, but it was cool to see, like you said, in Madison, how everybody really jumped in and and gave it a full. You know, I mean, the, some tremendous prizes and stuff for us to to raffle off. So, thanks to all you folks. Thank you. Now we got to talk about the Obama, the Messiah. He's, uh, he's taking a world tour. Yeah, it's not a victory lap. But he's sure treating it like he thinks it was one. Well, it's always a good idea for him to, you know, go in areas where he... I think he... What? Allah has something to do with that. I don't, I don't know, but Allah and the Christians and the Jews, everybody is pretty amped up about the area he's going into. Well, what happened the last time the Messiah went there? Well... Yeah, they nailed him to a cross, so I'd be careful Watch about back, it. Watch back, I'm just telling you. There's some people there who don't play. Um, no, what the Romans are there anymore. Uh, the Romans are gone, but uh, what, the Jews sold him out, too. So, I don't know. Bottom line, he, uh, he needs to watch out because he's in a dangerous area. And he, is, uh, he was in Kuwait, for sure, and Afghanistan today. Uh, played a little basketball in Kuwait, did Barrio. Did he? With the troops, played some basketball. Yeah, we got some B-roll footage of that that everyone will love to see. I don't think anything's going on in Kuwait. Kuwait's pretty quiet. Uh, I'm hoping he went to Iraq. I'm actually hoping he found some time to talk to General Petraeus, something he has not managed to do up to this point. Right. Although, I, I guess you don't need to talk to the men if you already know no. what you're going to tell them to do. Yeah. Run, David! Run! You're on MLK! You better run! Get out of there! Get out of Iraq. You gotta get out of Iraq. <laughs> but there's one little group willing to want us to stay there. Who's that? Vets for Freedom. Vets for Freedom has managed to offend the staff sergeant <laughs> by prolonging the war and not allowing him the cushy one year vacation he was expecting to have in Iraq where he could do his Betty Ford, where he could lift weights, get huge again. Get huge. That's right out the window thanks to Pete Hexit and Vets for Freedom. So Pete? Who's Pete? Fuck Pete. Fuck Pete. Fuck, Pete. Fuck Pete's wicked head. No, the bottom line is Mr. Hegseth's group has been out front and very vocal in making sure that the war in Iraq does not end and consequently that there's nothing going on there. We want it. Yeah. So we have, the, uh, we have the idea now that Kev is likely not to be going to Iraq where he could lift weights and hang out. He's going to have to go to some place where there's big hills, heavy stuff, carrying heavy, carrying stuff. heavy stuff up and down big hills. So. Man, that sucks. Yeah. And get shot at. That's the cool part. You can do all that and get shot at. But I got a plan. You got a plan? You see, I'm going to take the Koran and put it all over my body. <laughs> like, like reactive armor. They, they can't, can't shoot. Take they can't shoot me up. They can't desecrate their own their own. <laughs> Dude, I, I gotta tell you that uh, I don't see a very big flaw in that. As long as you can hump the weight of the Korans, get the lightest weight paperback edition you can. Hmm, let me think. Hump the weight of the Korans or take a round. Hmm. Okay. 
Right. And this pretty, is even better in your plan yeah. than uh, every private potential Medal of Honor winner, man. They still are. They still are, but this way you don't have to take a no. bullet. That was your plan for grenades. And it's this all, is the plan for small arms fire. And all of you really mad at you. If you <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, we need to uh, get ready for the fundraisers that start up here soon. So, uh, that's for freedom. That's against that's for freedom is, is coming for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm Uncle Jimbo. I'm Kev. Have a good weekend.